Morning bell ain't rung yet. Go back to sleep. I want to give it for everyone. Ever since I got the polio, it takes me extra time to move my leg. That bum penny always is a gold mine. You know how many newsies fake a limp for sympathy? That's why they call you crutchy, because they wish they had one too. Yeah, pretend is one thing, but Snarty gets the idea that I can't make it on my own for real. He'll lock me up in the refuge for good. Don't worry about nothing. I got your back. What do you think about my latest creation? Jack, you're a regular Nicolangelo da Vinci, but why are you always painting pictures of mountains and stuff? These streets suck the life right out of my old man. But they ain't doing that to me. You can keep your small life in a big city. Give me a big life. In a small town, way out west, where a fella can breathe. They say folks is dying to get here. Me, I'm dying to get away. To a little town out west that's spanking new. And my lie ain't never been there. I can see it clear as day. If you want, I betcha you could see it too. Close your eyes, come with me, where it's clean and green and pretty. And they went and made a city out of clay. Why, the minute that you get there, folks will rock right up and say, Welcome home, son, welcome home to Santa Fe. Loving tails around the fire. Except for Sundays when you lie around all day. So your friends are more like family, and they's begging you to stay. And that meat, living sweet in Santa Fe. Then papes all saw themselves. Hey Albert, Nancy, Specs, Pigtails! Hey Rates, papes ain't ruined like they used to. I need a new selling spot. You got any ideas? From Bottle Alley to the harbor, there's easy pickings guaranteed. Try any banker, bum, or garber. to bring it to you poisonly. Gee, thanks. Hey Jack, who's that? Beats me. She's way out of my league, whoever she is. Crushy, what's the leg say? Got a rain? No rain. Potty cloud to pee by evening. They ought to bottom that leg of yours. And the limp sells 50 babes a week all by itself. I don't need the limp to sell papes. I got personality. And don't forget, ingenuity. I'll make up a head I and I'll say anything, anything I have to Cause I'm two for a penny If I take too many weasel will just make me eat a master Got a feeling about a head I know so a head I think they're gonna sell like we was giving them a What a switch so we'll all be rich Don't know a better way to make a new day You wanna move the next edition Give us a look quick for a
nice clear picture. Not again. Three weeks of the same story. They're killing us with that snoozer. Deep way. So, it's honest work. Being on the census workers? You gotta take care of your own, am I right? I heard your old man was one of them strikers. What? Till we took care of him. Ow! What's the matter? I can't stand your feet. Now that's not a nice thing to do to my family, Morris. You ain't got no family. The Newsies are my family. You mess with any of them, you mess with me. Five to one, Jack skunks them. Thanks for the Line up. Morning, Weasel. Did you miss me? The name's Weasel. Well, ain't that what I said? I'll take the usual. A hundred papes for the wise guy. I'll take fifty. Fifty for race. Next. Good morning, Mr. Weasel. Fifty papes to Crutchy. <gasps> Have a look at this. A new kid. I'm new too. Don't worry. Rubs right off. I'll take 20 newspapers. 20 for the newbie? Let's see the dime. I'll pay you when I sell them. <laughs> Funny kid. Come on, cash up front. But whatever I don't sell, you buy back. This kid's a riot. Cough up the cash or blow. Come on, move along, Albert. Let me see your money. You got a very interesting face. You ever think of getting into the moving pictures? You think I could? Sure. They let anyone in. <laughs> Sorry, um, excuse me? I paid for 20, you only gave me 19. Beat it. Hey, Luke is right. You only gave him 19. Now, I'm sure that was an honest, honest mistake on account of Oscar can't count the 20 with the shoes on. Here, now take a hike. Give the new kid 50 more papes. I don't want no more papes. What kind of newsy don't want more papes? I'm no charity case. I don't even know you. This here is the famous Jack Kelly. He wants up Jake the escape the back of jail in the back of Teddy Roosevelt's carriage. Made all the papes. I'm Casey, but my pals call me Crutchy. How old are you, kid? I'm ten. Almost. If anyone asks, you're seven. Younger sells more papes. And since we're gonna be partners. Whoa. Who said we want a partner? Sell a jack is the chance of a lifetime. You learn from him, you're learning from the best. If he's the best, what's he need with me? Cause this one's mug could sell a thousand papes a week. Easily. Look sad, kid. We're gonna make millions. <laughs> I'm less. And this is my brother David. Nice to meet you, Davey. My two bits come off the top. They must put everything 70-30. 50-50. You wouldn't try to pull a fast one on a little kid, would you? 60-40, and that's my final offer. Deal. That's disgusting. It's just business. Newsies, hit the streets. The sun is up, the headline stinks, and this can't get any younger. trouble. Our circulation is down for the third quarter in a row. We could use an exciting headline, Mr. Pulitzer. What have we got today? The trolley strike. That's not exciting. It's epic. It's boring. Folks just want to know, is the trolley coming or it ain't? 
Big photos attract readers, sir. Do you know what big photos cost? But without flashy photos or headlines, how are we supposed to sell papers? We don't sell papers, newsies sell papers. That's ridiculous. We don't sell papers, newsies sell papers. That's brilliant. Thank you. Right now, we charge the newsies 50 cents for 100 papers. Hmm. What if we raise their price to 60 cents per 100? That would be a mere tenth of a penny for a paper. Every newsie would have to sell 125 papers to earn the same amount. Exactly. And my circulation would grow. What if you gave the newsie an incentive tip to sell more papers? Like a bonus! <laughs> this is a business, not a charity. Those children need to learn the value of hard work, just like I did when I was their age. I started off with nothing, and look at me now. You're a kingmaker, an inspiration. A role model for the Young Institute. This is a real life lesson in economics. In a week's time, the newsies will be working twice as hard and they'll be twice as proud of themselves. They'll thank me for the someday. Yeah, someday. The price for the newsies goes up in the morning. Hurrah! Hurrah! Even in paper. 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 Sing them to sleep, why don't ya? Extra, extra. Terrified flight from Burning Inferno. You had the story right here. I'll take one. Thanks, mister. You just made that up. Um, I did not. I told him he had the story right here. And he did. My father taught us not to lie. My, my father taught me not to starve. Hey, just some my last paper. Kids are natural, Jack. I've got one more. Sell it or pay for it. <laughs> Buy a paper from a poor orphan boy. <laughs> oh, you're thing. Of course I'll take a newspaper. Here's a dime. Thank you. <laughs> Born to the breed. <laughs> this. It's so much better than school. Don't even think about it. When Pop goes back to work, we go back to school. Our father tying with delivery truck messes like a bad. So they fired him. That's how come we had to find work. Oh yeah, sure. That makes sense. It's about your father, by the way. Jack! Snyder! Amstray! Jack Kelly! Run for it! Who is that guy? Wait, what? Stop! Officer! 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 Underage kids called the refuge. Problem is, the more kids he locks up, the more money he makes. And all the money goes straight in Snyder's own pocket. Do yourself a favor and steer clear of Snyder and the refuge. Oh, Miss Meta, the critic from the New York Sun just took her seat. Thanks, Pat. Miss Meta. Jack Kelly, give me a hug. Thank you. Bless. Now I present Miss Meta Larkin. Saw in the ballet theater today. She also owns the joint. A pleasure. Nice to meet you, kids. And these amazing young ladies are the Bowery Brigade, hardest working artists in the city. Say hello, girls. Hello. hello. It's a pleasure to meet your acquaintance. I'm David. David. Yeah, David. What are you? Triplets. Ada. Pleasure's mine, I'm quite sure. Oh, 
how do you do? Wow, we real life troopers. And who is this little cutie pie? I'm Les. This is Les. <laughs> I'm Les. You know what they say, hey, Ada? Les, Les is, is more. more. Thanks, Thanks Pat. Pat. Remember, I'm Les. Crutchy, how's the leg doing today? Sunny, zero percent chance of rain. That's my Casey. Miss Man, I got a little situation on the street. Mind if I hide here for a while? Snow to the spider after you again? Make yourself at home. Hey Jack, did you really escape jail in the back of Teddy Roosevelt's carriage? He sure did. What would the governor be doing at a juvenile jail? Well, just so happens he was running for office or something. So he got his mug in the paper, I got my butt in the backseat of his car, and off we rode together. You really know Governor Roosevelt. He don't, but I do. Teddy is a regular patient of the arts, been a big fan of mine for years. By the way, can you pay me some more of your backdrops? Things were going so well, I can actually pay you soon. Miss Meta, I couldn't take your money. You paint? You must be really good. Your friend is quite an artist. Don't get worked up about it. It's a bunch of trees. The boy's got natural aptitude. Geez, I never knew no one with an aptitude. Miss Meta, you're on. Kids, stay as long as you like. You're with Meta now. Ready, ladies? Break a leg, Miss Meta. Why did they tell her to break a leg? Don't they like her? It means good luck in theater lingo. You guys can watch from there. I'm going out front. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the magnificent Meta Larkin and her Bowery Brigade. Everybody and welcome to my theater. Yes, sirree, it's a brand new century with a brand new set of rules for women. And their brigade and I are gonna tell you all about them. Maestro, if you please. Dear father said, I won't you tell me the wonders my future may hold. Said he, Deborah Sue, what's the matter with you? Where dame and dames do like they're told He thought girls should be seen and not heard But I'm planning to have the last word I'm more than just a pretty face Don't try to keep me in my place You think there's all these big things ladies can't do Or is it that you're scared we do them better than you? I'm gonna take my turn at bed. There's lots of ways to skin a rat. George Washington found glory from the armies he led. But look what Betsy Ross did with the needle and thread. So don't be fooled by the powder and lace. I'm more than just a pretty face. Well, hello again. Hi, so where's the paper you promised me? Sold out. What you writing? I'm a reporter. I'm reviewing the show for the New York Sun. And I'm not in the habit of talking to strangers. Then you're gonna make a lousy report. Name's Jack Kelly. I'm Catherine. What is that you're drawing? Here, Miss Meta and the girls. Maybe you could use it for your review. Wait, you just drew this? Right now? I'm impressed. Hey, you two. You got in for free. At least pay attention. Sorry, Meta. She's more than just a pretty face. Don't try to put Like burping all through dinner and then sewing your mouth We're sad to see your bubble burst But starting now, it's ladies first Here come the women doctors and reporters and cops We won't have time for housework, but we'll lend you our mops We'll find girls in the crazy upstairs And more than just the pretty men Though that's included More than just the pretty men See you in Congress more than just Sorry we're late. 
had to help a mother with something. They got a mother? I was gonna get me one. We have a father too. A mother and a father? Well, ain't they the hoi polloi. So how's it going today? Ask me after they put up the headboard. Here it comes now. New Newsies price. 60 cents per hundred. What'd you say? They jacked up the price of papes. 10 more cents per hundred. What, we're gonna what? 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 Joe, what are y'all standing around for? Get a little bit of this, Jack. My up already. Pates for the newsies. Line up. <laughs> Good joke, Weasel. Really got the guys going. Now I'll take 100 papes. A hundred will cost you 60. That's highway robbery. Me and the crew took a hike to the sun or something. Yeah! yeah. I'll save the walk. There's a great show. It's the same all around town. New day, new price. And why the drag up? I don't make the rules. I just work here. So, you buying and moving on. Come here, everybody. They can't just do that, can they? Why not? It's their paper. It's their world. Ain't we got no rights? We got the rights to do what they tell us to. We got the right to protest. And we have the right to starve. Come on, let's get our papes and hit the streets while we still can. Look, if we don't sell papes, no one sells papes. No one steps foot by that wagon till they put the price of papes back down where it belongs. You mean like a strike? You are Demi Broad Strike! Whoa, I never said that. We'll shut down this place like the trolley workers shut down the trolleys. And the cops will bust our heads. Half of the strikers is laid up with broke bones. Cops don't care about a bunch of kids. If we stay together, we can do anything. Right, Davey? Before you can strike, you gotta have a union. And a union's gotta have official membership. And what do you call them? Hi. And officers? I nominate Jack Kelly for president. Woo! So what's next? The membership's got to vote. All right, let's vote. Do we let Pulitzer pick our pockets? Or do we strike? Strike! The news is of Little Manhattan are officially now on strike. What next? I guess we've got a union. Yeah. Pulitzer and Hess, they think we're nothing. Are we nothing? No! no. Got us? No! Even though we ain't got hats or badges, we're a union just by saying so. And the world will know. What's to stop some of their kids coming along to sell our paint? Just let them try. No, we can't be up on other newsies. We have to stick together. What's it gonna take to stop the wagons? Are we ready? Yeah! What's it gonna take to stop the scabbers? Until we break the will of mighty Bill and Joe. And the world will know. And the journal too. Mr. Hart says, Paul and Sir, have we got news for you? See, the world don't know. But you're gonna have to pay. Instead of walking headlines, we'll be making them today. And our next will go. Circulation bell starts ringing. Will we hear it? No! What if the Delancey's come out swinging? Will we hear it? No! When you got a hundred voices singing, who can hear a lousy whistle blow? And the world will know. And the same no game. And we got a ton of rotten and fruit and a perfect aim. We've been down too long.
Counselor Strike in the most suspicious manner. What? That's what? not English. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But we're sure to scare the pajamas out of Weasel. <laughs> Did you see the Delanties? They didn't know which way it was us. All right, now what? Spread the word. Let every city's newsies know about the strike. Strength in numbers. All right, you heard the man. Let's split up. I'll take Harlem. I got Midtown. I got the Bronx. And I got that. Specs, you got Queens. Tyler Boy, you take the East Side. And who wants Brooklyn? Brooklyn. Spot Collins, sir. Albert, you're telling me you're scared of Brooklyn? I ain't scared of no turf. But that spot, Conlon, gets me a little jittery. Fine, then me and Daisy got Brooklyn. Why is everyone so scared of Brooklyn? What are you doing here? Asking a question. Have you got an answer? Why is everyone so afraid of Brooklyn? Because spot, Conlon is the toughest newsie in town. And Brooklyn's the sixth largest city in the world. You got Brooklyn, got the mother load. Wouldn't a strike be more effective if someone in charge knew about it? You got a name? Catherine. Plumber. It's my byline. The name I publish under. She's a dame reporter from the New York Sun. Should she be like a little ballet or a flower show? <laughs> Look, I know a great story when I see one. A couple of ragtag Davids take on local Goliath. Hey, that's good. But we never said that. Oh, you didn't have to. I did. I've seen a lot of papers in my time, and I ain't ever noted no girl reporter writing hard news. Wake up to the new century, Mr. Kelly. It's 1899, the game's changing. How about an exclusive interview? I say we save any exclusive for a real reporter. <laughs> I'm trying to do what's never been done before, just like you and your strike. I don't know. You see somebody else giving you the time of day? All right, so I'm just busting out of the social pages, but if you give me the exclusive, let me run with the story, and I promise, I'll get you the space, give me a chance, you help me and I'll help you. Come on, give her a chance, she's all right. I'm with Hazel, if a girl can sell the page, why can't she write it? Yeah! All right, fine. You help us, we help you. Deal? Deal. Respect the right of the working kids in the city. And they can't just change the rules when they feel like it. Yeah, that's right, Davey. We do the work, so we gotta say. We've got a union. Yeah! You really think we could be in the papes? If your protest shuts down a paper like the world, you're going to make the front page. All right, you want a story? Meet me in front of the distribution wagon tomorrow and tell your powder burn camera. You can count on me. Come on, Les. I'll take you back home. Oh, David, what are we going to say to Mom and Pop when we come back with no money? I guess some things are worth going hungry for. I'll meet you here to head to Brooklyn tomorrow, Jack. You bet. So, Mr. Kelly, what's your story? Working your way through art school? That drawing that you did at the theater showed real talent. Art school? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm a newsie. You're not just a newsie, you're their leader. What are your hopes for tomorrow's strike? Well, today we stopped our newsies from delivering the papes. But the wagons to delivered to the rest of the city. Tomorrow we stop the wagons. Are you scared? Good question, do I look scared? But ask me again in the morning. Good answer, good night Mr. Kelly. Hey plumber, write it good, we both got a lot riding on you. No pressure. Newsies stop the world. 
A little hyperbole never hurt anyone. With all eyes fixed on the trolley strike, there's another battle brewing in the city. And if I could just write about it. Come on, Catherine, the kids are counting on you. Oh, you poor kids. Write what you know, so they say. All I know is I don't know what to write or the right way to write it. This is big, lady, don't screw it up. This is not some little vaudeville I'm reviewing. Poor little kids versus rich, greedy, sour pusses. Huh, it's a sin she can practically write itself, and let's pray it does. Because as I may have mentioned, I have no clue what I'm doing. Am I insane? This is what I've been waiting for. Well, that plus the screaming of ten angry editors. A girl, that's a girl. How the heck is that even legal? Look, just go and get her. Not only that, there's a story behind the story. Thousands of children exploited, invisible. Speak up, take a stand, and there's someone to write about it. That's how things get better. Give life's little guy some ink. And when it dries, just watch what happens. Those kids will live and breathe right on the page. And once they're sent her Day you watch what happens And who's there with her Kava and her pen As boys turn into men They'll storm the gates And then just watch what happens When they do A modern day David is poised to take on The rich and powerful Goliath With the swagger of one twice his age Armed with nothing more than a few Nuggets of truth Jack Kelly stands ready to face the behemoth Pulitzer. Now that's how you turn a kid into a legend. Give those kids and me the brand new century and watch what happens. It's David and Goliath, do or die, the fight is on and I can't watch what happens. But all I know is nothing happens. And how it's been And it just so happens That we just might win So whatever happens Let's begin Coming? No clue. We need backup. Pulitzer's goons is gonna make mince meat out of us. They're gonna pound us in the smithereens. Bring them on, I say. You see and spot Conlin, right? Is Brooklyn coming? We wanted to make sure we weren't gonna run the first sign of trouble. Are we? We are not. Besides, it's us in Harlem. Not so fast, boss. Harlem wants to know what Brooklyn's gonna do. Expect we got Queens? Yes, see? I got the same fish eye in Midtown. Say, hey, Oscar, looks like we got bomb information about a strike happening here today. My school bus and arm could use a day of rest. Are we doing the right thing? Sure, we are. Maybe we put this off a couple of days. No! Like it or not, now is the time we have to take a stand. Come on. Now is the time to seize the day Stare down the odds and seize the day Minute by minute, that's how you win it We will find a way But let us seize the day Jack, look what I made. Cool, huh? Strike! That's great. Any sound reinforcements? Davy. Now is the time to seize the day. Stare down the eyes and seize the day. Once we begun, if we stand as one, someday become some.
scabs. They think they can just waltz in here and take our jobs. We can handle them. Let's soak them. No, we all have to stick together or we don't have a chance. Jack, listen. Pulitzer well, thinks we're gutter rats with no respect for nothing. Is that who we are? No. I beg you, for the sake of all kids, I mean, sweatshop, factory, slaughterhouse, throw down your papes and join the strike. Yesterday, Snyder soaked me real good with my crutch. Oh yeah, Jack. This is Gretchy, by the way. These two gods, they is rude. 
They say jump kid, you jump but you're screwed But the food ain't that badly so far Cause so far they ain't brought us no food Ha ha <laughs> Anyway, so guess what? There's this secret escape plan I got Tie a sheet to the bed, toss the end out the window Come down then take off like a shot Maybe though, not tonight I ain't slept and my legs still ain't right Hey, but Pooter, he's going down And then Jack, I was thinking we might just go You were saying I'll be fine, good as new, but there's one thing I need you to do. In the alley you said that if family looks out for each other. Go get them, Crutchy. yesterday by them goons. Our strike really struck out. I heard they got crutchy. Did they get Jack too? No one's seen him. Good morning everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Would you get a load of these glum mugs? Can these really be the same heroes who made it to the front page of the New York Sun? What? Newsy stop the world. Now that's a headline even Alfred can sell. Would ya look it? That's me! Hey, come on, we'll make it the this. I hope you guys went to the top tonight. You got us in the pape. You got yourselves in the pape. Where's Jack? Did they take him to the refuge? He got away. Could we please just drink in the moment? I'm famous! How much does being famous pay? You don't need money when you're famous. They give you whatever you want. Gratis! Such as? A pair of new shoes with matching laces. Show me a ride with a sour pickle. My personal mug on a wooden nickel. Look at me, I'm the king of New York. Suddenly, I'm respectable, staring right at your lousy with stature. Nothing to know the balcony marks. I'm flowing my dough and dough and D-Rocks. And there I be. Darling. 
here's everything in for the first backdrop. Plus there's two new ones and even we'll stop next year. Just a can because I'm gonna miss you so. Miss Meta, you're a gem. Thanks. So remember Jack, when you go somewhere and it turns out not to be the right place, you can always go somewhere else. But if you're running away from something, no one's ever gonna be the right place. I gotta get out of here. It's killing me. Here, you should read this letter first. Spec shop it off while you paint him. Why, hello there. You news you sure are making headlines, aren't you? Well, that's why we've come. You haven't seen Jack, have you? He's been paying all night. How can I help you? We'd like to hold a rally tonight for the newsies, but we need a safe place to do it. And you want to use the theater? Please. <laughs> hey, that's good, kid. You should go into acting. Just so happens we're dark tonight, so the theater's all yours. Wow. Oh, thank you. Happy to help the cause. JV, did you find Jack? Is he here? He'll be right out, Miss Plummer. And thanks for the swell review. It really helped out business. Just doing my job. Jack, there you are. And that's my cue to exit. See Rebels back here tonight at 6. Viva la resistance. Jack, where were you? We couldn't find you. I was like I didn't want to be found. See the tape? We're front page news. Above the fold. Good for you. What's with the attitude? Catherine wrote a great story. Thanks, Davey. Everyone wants to meet the famous Jack Kelly. Even Spawn Collins and Santa Kid to say, next event, you can count on Brooklyn. How about that? But we got stomped into the ground. Yeah, but with press like this, our fight's far from over. Jack, you have to come to the rally tonight. The newsies need you. They look up to you. They'll listen to you. You're their leader. Hey, Jack, where's that supposed to be? Santa Fe. It's beautiful. Once I get me enough money, I'm going to move there. Hey, it's good to have a plan. It ain't a plan. It's a dream, like the strike. But it's not just a dream. Well, not just a nice rally. A citywide meeting where every news you get to say and a vote. And it's after working hours, so no one loses a day's pay. Smart? You wanna see what's smart? Take a look at this. Amazing, you've got real talent. You should be inside the paper, illustrating, not outside hawking it. Are you kidding me? I'm a newsy. Which is why you have to come to tonight's rally. Come on, Davey, there's not much time. We gotta go spread the word. I have to go too, I'm late. Please, Jack, come to the meeting. See you there tonight? I'll think about it. Pulitzer, how can you have so much sympathy for the trolley workers and yet none for the newsies? Because the trolley workers are striking for a fair contract. The newsies are striking against me. That Jack Kelly seems to be quite an effective leader. I have it on good authority that Jack Kelly was arrested for stealing food and clothing. I want a public example made out of him. Mr. Pulitzer, Jack Kelly's here. He looks pretty roughed up, poor boy. The guest of honor, right on schedule. And not a peep out of you, young lady. You're in enough trouble as it is. Which Jack Kelly is this? The charismatic union organizer or the thief and escaped convict? Which one gives us more in common? Joe. Impudence is in bad taste when crawling for mercy. Crawling? Dragged is more like it. But there's some reporters who can't be bullied. Such as that young woman who made yesterday's news. Talented girl. 
Catherine, come here. I trust you know my daughter, Catherine. Yes, my daughter. You're probably asking, why the nom de plume? I offered Catherine a life of wealth and leisure. Instead, she chose to pursue a career, wanted to do it on her own. Jack, I... Don't trouble the boy with your problems, dearest. Mr. Kelly has a playful of his own. Why did you say so, Warden Snyder? Hello, Jack. I've saved your old bunker for you back at the refuge. The delinquents will be so happy to see you back behind bars. Defy me, Jack, and I'll make sure your friend with the crutch never leaves the refuge. I do wish you would reconsider that, Mr. Porter. Answer me, Jack. Do you want all your little pals are rotting away in jail because of you? No. No, I didn't think so. Now I tell you what, if you speak of this hopeless strike tonight, I'll see to it your pockets are filled with enough cash to take you to... Where was it? Santa Fe. Point a person in this room who don't know you stay! And if they know me, they know I don't care. What do you say, Jack? Do we have a deal? haven't seen him. Looks like you're doing a solo. You can do it, Davey. Jack, 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 Jack. Newsies of New York. Look what we've done. We're making history. We've got every newsie from every single neighborhood here tonight. Tonight, we declare that we're just as much a part of the paper as any, new, as any reporter or editor and they were done being treated as kids. And from now on, they'll treat us as equals. You want to be treated like an adult? Start acting like one. And here's Jack. Jack, 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 Jack. All right, Pulitzer raised the price of papes without a word of notice. And that was a lousy thing to do. So we go on strike. But we got to be realistic. However long we can go, Pulitzer can go longer. Now, Pulitzer has personally promised us that if we disband the union, he won't raise the price again for two years. I say we take that deal. Boom! All we have to do is vote no on the strike. Vote no. What do you 
Medicare. Who's going to get my drawings? Medic gave them to me. Give them back. These are drawings of the refuge, aren't they? Is this really what it's like in there? Three kids to a bed and vermin everywhere? Why would I tell you anything? You double crosses to your father. Your father! Joseph Pulitzer may be my father, but I wanted to make my own way without his help. I told you my professional name was Plummer, and it is. I don't know what to believe anymore. Jack, believe me, I'm on your side. But I need to know you didn't turn your back on your friends just for the money. I ain't gonna see no more of my pals locked up and thrown in the refuge. However long we can go, your father can go longer. There's nothing else we can do. Ah, uh, right, but I know something. I'm done. No way. Really, Jack? Really? Being boss doesn't mean you have all the answers. Just the brains to recognize the right ones when you hear it. All right, I'm listening. The strike was your idea. The rally was Davies. And my plan will take us to the finish line. The children could say. Now there's a headline. For the sake of all kids in every sweatshop, factory, and slaughterhouse in New York, I beg you, join us. With those words, you challenged our whole generation to help each other. I can't believe it. Like, someone like you would take up the banner. Why? We all need something to believe in, Jack. I believe in this story. I believe in you. And so do all of the newsies. We gotta let your father know the century belongs to us. Exactly. If we publish my words with your drawings, and if every worker under 21 read it and stayed home from work, or better yet, actually came to Newsy Square and joined the strike, even my father couldn't ignore that. But the only thing is, we have no way to print it. Your father owns all the presses in town. Right, but I know where there's a printing press that no one would ever think we'd use. Then why are we still standing here? Follow me, come on. Father's printing press. The janitor's been working here since he was eight and hasn't had a raise in 20 years. He's with us, 100%. The old printing press is inside. Bring enough newsies to keep us covered? You could hold a hoe down in there with all we got and more on the way. Good. Tell them to keep quiet. It's good to have you back. Let's do this thing. My father's very first printing press. Just think, while he blissfully snores in his bed, we'll be using his own printing press to bring him down. Remind me to stay on your good side. Is that what they print the papes on? That's right. Race, after those are done printing, you'll pass them on to every working kid in New York. After that, after that, it's up to them. I can see why they toss this girl about it. Get a little grease and she'll be good as well. This is Dorothy. She knows just about everything about printing press. You work for one of the papes? Yeah, my father was the truth. Whoa. Jack, let's get rolling. I have to get this pape and your drawings to someone who is going to be very interested to see them. Jack? It's just, I didn't feel like something I believed in. Something important was actually possible. Once and for all, you make the front page and man's you is major news. Tomorrow they'll see what we are and sure as the star, we ain't come this far. I think 
kept out of sight, but no more. In a few hours, by dawn's early light, we'll be ready to fight as the war. It's time we're in it to stay. Talk about seizing the day. They pay. In the words of union leader Jack Kelly, we will work with you, we will even work for you, but we will be paid and treated as valuable members of your organization. Here we go. Good luck, Jack. You too, Catherine. This is for kids shining shoes on the street with no shoes on their feet every day. This is for kids sweating blood in the shops while the bosses and cops look away. Look at us all standing tall, glaring and raring to brawl. Armies of guys who are sick of the lies, getting ready to rise to the call. Once and for all, there'll be blood on the wall to they down us. They can be run in this town, but this town will shut down without us. Tell the kids in the square, tell the kids in the square, tell the fist in the air. Entire city shut down. No one's working, and everyone's blaming you. The all calling, the mayor, the publishers, the manufacturers, and such language. Get the sergeant here. Good morning. You're behind this? We had a deal. Oh, and it came with a money back guarantee. These youngsters are a pretty good paper. Very convincing. No doubt written by my daughter. Oh, yeah, you might want to sign up for anyone else does. I demand to know who defy my ban on printing strike material. Oh, but no, we're your loyal employees. We never take our business somewhere else. The old printing press in the cellar. You want to sell more papes, but now your circulation is down 70%. Why didn't you just come talk to us? Because guys like Joe don't talk to no one like us. But a wise reporter once told me, a boss doesn't need all the answers, just the brains to snatch the right, right one out when he hears them. Look over there, Mr. Bulletin. In case we figured it out, we got you surrounded. So, what's your next move? <laughs> Mr. Kelly, if I may speak to you alone. You got this, Jack. I cannot put the price back to where it was. There are other considerations. All right, I get it. I'm a kid, I'm not stupid. Thank you for understanding. But I got constituents with legitimate gripe. What if I reduce the price by half and get the other papers to do the same? 
It's a compromise we can all live with. But you still eat our losses. How about this? Whatever we can't sell, you buy back full price. What's to stop Newsies from taking hundreds of papers they can't sell? My cost will explode. No Newsies gonna break their back hauling around papers they can't sell. But if they can take a few extra with no risk, it's a collision with digging to go. It's a compromise we're gonna all live with. That's not a bad head you got on your shoulders. So, what do you say? Deal? That's disgusting. It's just business. Deal. of New York. We won! <laughs> Governor, this is the talented young man I was telling you about, Jack Kelly. Nice to meet you, Jack. I'm going to be one sheet with Derek. Wow. Yes, sir. Newsies of New York. Now I present Governor Theodore Roosevelt. <laughs> My fellow citizens, today you've demonstrated the power of standing together for what is right. I believe the future in your hands will be bright and prosperous. And your drawings, Jack, have brought another matter to bear. Come on out, Casey. Your pals are waiting. I'm Casey, but you can still call me Crunchy. I go straight from the refuge. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's wearing the handcuffs now. <laughs> it's Snyder the Spider. Ain't looking too tough no more, huh? Jack, with those drawings, you made an eloquent argument for shutting down the refuge. Be assured that Warden Snyder's abuses will be fully investigated. Brother. So long, sucker. Mr. Poulter, I just had a brilliant idea. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Jack, that we all need to fight for justice whenever we can. Best of luck to you, son. Newsies forever! <laughs> Jack, I just had a brilliant idea. Well, Hannah, my secretary had a brilliant idea, but I agree. I want you to draw political cartoons from my paper. Me? If one of your drawings convinced the governor to close the refuge, what might a daily political cartoon do to expose our own dealings in our own government backrooms? That is a brilliant idea. And you could hire him at double the standard rate. Oh, with the strike settled, I better be off to Santa Fe. You can't leave now! My father just hired you as a professional cartoonist, Jack. What's Santa Fe got that New York ain't? Sandstorms? Better yet, what's New York got that Santa Fe ain't? New York's got us, and we're family, and he's begging you to stay. Didn't I hear something about the strike being settled? Paint for the newsies! Line up! These papes ain't gonna sell themselves! What do you say, brother? I got your back. You got mine. Deal? Deal.
right. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank everybody for coming tonight.